Hi, it's Kurt, and uh, we're continuing our series of uh, devotionals on the book of Nahum. And maybe a book you've never read, but I hope you're getting a charge out of it this week. I am. And uh, it's a good, good read for me. It's, it's new, new stuff. And uh, we're going to do uh, three more today, tomorrow, and Friday. And then uh, my plan for next week is First Thessalonians. I'm actually going to spend two weeks on that. So uh, looking forward to that as well. But uh, let's get into our study of Nahum today. I'm excited for this study, actually. I really am. I really enjoyed it. And today we're talking about God's messenger bringing peace. It's a common theme in the Old Testament to prophets, uh, speaking of the Messiah or Savior who is coming. And what will accompany his arrival? What will accompany his reign? What will accompany his time? And Nahum has a chance to do this too. He says in uh, Nahum 115, he says, look, a messenger is coming over the mountains with good news. He's bringing a message of peace. And I want you to know that the most important peace is peace with God, the peace that allows us to function, the peace that we sometimes can barely understand, but we desire. Paul speaks about that peace and how it comes over the hill to you, but I want you to know that <clears throat> the people of Jesus' time, like the people now, they think peace means, oh yeah, nobody's going to fight one another. Nobody's going to, uh, nobody's going to, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to, I don't know, beat our swords into plowshare or shares or whatever it is, you know, we're all going to have peace and everybody's going to love each other and da, 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 da. And that will happen, but that's going to happen when sin comes out of the world. What we do have is peace with God. Here's what Philippians 4, 6 says. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank him for all he's done. Then you'll experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. That's what Nahum's talking about. Nahum 1.7a says, the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him and gives them peace. Well, peace is something we all need. And uh, by following Jesus, you will have peace. Maybe not everywhere, but in you. In you, you'll have peace. And that's what we really need. Father, thank you for peace. Thank you for Jesus. And uh, help us to uh, follow him today. And uh, always, in Jesus' name, amen. You guys have an amazing Wednesday, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.